Veronique Asouline is one of Beverly Hills' premier party planners, and she has big hopes of taking her company, Veronique Events, to the next level. My wish is to be a bigger company with a lot of artistic directors and, you know, a whole crew. But to do this, she's going to need something that makes her different than everyone else. So I paid Veronique a visit to see if I could help. Hey! <laughs> oh, she's... When someone's having a party, the biggest stress comes from who to invite. Absolutely. I mean, sometimes there are just people you don't want to invite. Yes. But you don't want them to know you didn't invite them because then they'll hate you. But you don't want them to know that you don't like them, right? Yeah, but the thing is, you have to make choices. But maybe you don't. These days, most party invitations are sent as a digital invite through email. So if it was possible to develop a technology that could send certain people's invites directly to their spam folder, Veronique's clients could invite everyone they know to a party while guaranteeing their undesired guests won't show up. And if confronted after the event by that guest, they could simply say, I did invite you. Did you check your spam? Like, it's a great, great trick. <laughs> I mean, as the only party planner to provide this service, you would get everyone wanting you to plan their party. You know, I want to see what, how it works. I would love to have this information. And then, if I have the use, yes, why not using it? Before Veronique could offer this service to her clients, I'd first need to create the technology to make it work. So I hired a software engineer named Chris, who built me a custom invitation system to execute my idea. All right, so this is the invitation form. Right. And then on this side, you enter the emails with your desired guests and your undesired guests. So the emails in here go where? Um, the desired guest emails uh, will be sent to the inbox, but with the undesired guests, I just put a whole bunch of spam words in that email, sent it through a foreign server that was located in Russia. So that makes it go to spam? Yeah, so that makes it go to spam. And what words did you use? Um, I used Viagra, penis, uh, penis enlargements. I put everything from one inch penis all the way to 10 inch penis. Why and one it, inch penis? Uh, because I, it's just more to put in there. Because I've seen spam for like, eight inch penis, nine, yeah. but I've never seen someone, a spam email say like, do you want a one inch penis? <laughs> um, but yeah, it seems like you did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> Chris sent a test invite to my email and it seemed to work great with the hidden keywords directing it straight to my spam folder. There it is. So the next day I returned to Veronique to show her what I had developed. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, Jesus Christ. The program will add hidden words to those emails that will make them go directly oh. to spam. There's penis, Rolex. I mean, the idea uh, is... Penis enlargement, oh. Viagra, 8-inch penis, 9-inch penis, 10-inch penis, 11-inch penis, oh. Viagra penis. I mean, I don't need to know exactly. Is it important for me to know all this information? Any of your clients ask, no, you should know. Nobody would be interested. Well, some people might want to know how it works. It's interesting science. Veronique was impressed, but in order to show her the psychological impact my system would have, I decided to throw a small party at my place and put someone that I know on the undesired guest list. For this, I chose Solomon, who works on my show, because I knew it would hurt his feelings if he found out he wasn't invited. So after sending the invites, I headed home to prepare for my party. 